have to drag my basic front block body, upper body, and this is just the basic upper body with the princess star. Okay, I left four in my allowance here. I left four at the upper part. Okay, then I extended the shoulder line out. I extended the waistline and the one in my allowance. I extended it out. This is my butt front line. The first thing I'm going to do is to modify this to a wrap pattern. Okay, and to start with, I will measure from the center front from here to here to the middle of my back from what I have is 3.5. Then I will make that same 3.5 from here to here to have markings and do the same thing to the same allowance. I'll make the same 3.5 and mark it and I've connected this together. That's how I was able to get this. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is come to my upper body from my from my center front. I'm going to mile three inches and I'll mark. Okay. From that three inches, I will come out by one inch. So from there, I come out by one inch. Then, from this one inch, I'm going to connect from this marking down to my 3.5. From this shoulder point on my center front line, I will mark five inches. I mark it. Then I will connect from here, from the tip of my shoulder to this place. I walk to extend the line out. So you can see it, okay? I will come back to this my upper body. You see this initial three inches mark that I have. I'm also going to extend it out, okay? So on this mark, I'm going to measure my neck back width. The neck width for the bag that I'm using is three point five. So on this line, I'm going to measure the three point five. Uh, marking okay from that 3.5 mark i'm also going to come out by half inch this is my half inch there we are well, i will add the mark in the middle so this middle mark is going to be directly on this one it's so just like this then the line will be diagonal to this place so i'm going to slant my hand this way so you can see the way I play it. So the line is coming this way back to this point and the edge is on top of it, my mark. So I'm going to extend this one out this way. Then now draw this one. So I added extra paper to the upper part of my... I noticed that it wasn't enough. So I'm just going to extend this line. I'm just going to extend this out. So after extending it out this way, I'm going to measure my color width. The width of the color I want to work with is 3 inches, 3.5. So from there, I will mark, measure my 3.5 and I mark. Okay. So let me use marker to take that out. Okay, so I've drawn this, I've drawn this, okay? So, the next thing I'm going to do is come to this part. You see this intersection point where the two of them meet? I'm going to mark it this way, okay? So, from there, I will be measuring up by one inch. I'll mark it. Then connect the one inch to this side. So from that new point, I'm going to measure down 4.5 to just like the way I'm placing my and you mark it. Okay? So I'm going to connect from here to here to my big point. Okay, you can see this line, okay? After that I'm going to be connecting from this point to this point and I'll be using my marker this time. So this is the cover I will be using. So I'm just going to play it this way. Just like this and I'll be drawing it out. This is the shape that we are having and it has gone down. So now I will be using my marker to straight it out. This is 
one will have. I will also be using the to drag my back body. Okay, since I still have my original center line, in order to where the back body will be starting from. So the only thing I will do now is to input my back half length. The back half length I'm working with is 14. So I will add one inch to my lower just like I added to the front block, that's 15. So from the shoulder, I will measure 15 inches and I will using big blue pen. So I'm going to mark it across. So once I see this blue pen, I know that is my back half length. So this line is for my back half length. I will also be setting out the half hole for the back with my blue pen. So this is what I have. So this is pattern is both for my front and my back. So now I want to cut it out and I'll be cutting out through the waistline to the side, to the back arm O, cut through my shoulder flow, come to my collar point and come all the way down here. So this is what we we'll add after cutting it out. Okay. So I'm just going to do small modification for the back. The pieces that I have there starting from the front, so I will draw for that at the back. So I'll be starting from the point, just like the way I'm doing it to do your so you can see if that is the pinset that for the back. So now I will be cutting this out and to cut it out I will cut out this way, this way, down to the back. I will not touch the front. So you can see the pattern I've cut out the pencil there. So the first thing I'm going to be cutting out on my fabric is the back. And to do that, I already have my pencil that for the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold in the back half length for the front and don't forget that this blue mark is my back half length. So I'm just going to fold in this way, add it this way, so I'll come to this other side, fold in this SL using this my center front line as a guide. So I will just fold it in this way. Okay, I will also fold in the back half length on this middle part. Okay. Then also at the upper part, I'll be folding in this collar using the my original shoulder line as a guide. So I will also fold it in this way. So this is how I'll be placing this on my fabric to cut out the back. I will also tuck in this excess here. Okay. So this is what we have for the back. Then for the front, you open it up as usual. You add this for the front. You add this for the front, then you fold in the butt that. Don't forget that. You fold in the butt that. And for the front, you notice that this place is a bit pointy. I will just use my curve to blend it, but I will not be cutting it out. This is when I'm going to do it because I still want to use this pattern to cut out my back. So I'm not be cutting it out. So I will just mark it on my pattern i'm going to be cutting this out when i'm using this pattern to cut out for the front and also for the front i want to trim off this side this side for the front so this is how our pattern is looking like thank you very much